Yeah, you definitely saw the title right. Jimbo Fisher calling out Nick Saban. Are you nuts? Guys, it's Golden Blue Dude here with you again. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I do college football videos every single day. Y'all know me. I try not to do car videos, but whenever I heard this on the radio, I had to stop immediately and make a video about this. This is nuts. So Jimbo was doing an event for Texas A&M answering questions, and one of the reporters asked him, how will Texas A&M beat Alabama besides Nick Saban retiring? His answer was, we're going to beat Nick Saban's ass while he's there. We're going to be just as good as Alabama, maybe even better. What are you talking about? All three times that Texas A&M has played Alabama while you're the coach, You've gotten your tail handed to you. In 2018, y'all got beat 45 to 23. 2019, 47 to 28. Last year, 52 to 24. Y'all can't even get within two touchdowns. Why in the world would you say something like that? I know you're trying to pump the crowd up, but that's nonsense. I don't know how anybody didn't laugh. I wasn't there. Maybe somebody did laugh. If I was there, I would have laughed. Even if I was a Texas A&M fan. That's crazy. So you came seriously close to getting to the playoffs last year. And now all of a sudden Texas A&M is all big and bad. Well you still got your tails handed to you at the beginning of the season. Look, I get it. You need confidence to beat Alabama. But that's a little stupid. Go back in history. How many times has somebody called out Nick Saban and actually beaten him? Usually he beats them worse when they call him out. The only person that could ever get away with talking trash to Nick Saban in the SEC would be Hugh Freeze. The funny thing is, a lot of people don't know this, is both those coaches, Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher, are from West Virginia. So maybe this is a, just a good old-fashioned West Virginia clan issue. Hatfields versus McCoy. I don't know. But to me, it's actually laughable that Jimbo Fisher says that they are going to beat Nick Saban's ass when it's literally been the other way around. Nick Saban has kicked your ass every time you've played him. You have not even gotten within two touchdowns. What makes you think that you're going to be able to get within a touchdown, much less actually beat Nick Saban? It's not happening. In fact, this year, I have Texas A&M taking a slight step backwards. I still think they're a top 25 team, but I don't think they're going to be a top 10 team. They lose too much. They're going to have a great run game on offense, but that's about it. And their defense, so-so. You look at 2019, and the 12th man just does not matter to Nick Saban. It doesn't matter that you have home field advantage. It doesn't matter that you have all this confidence based on nothing because you've never done anything against Nick Saban. And congratulations, you actually did have a pretty good team. But then you played Alabama and they killed you. So you could literally talk trash about anybody else except Nick Saban. And guess what? All these other teams that you've just kind of skipped as far as focusing on, LSU, Auburn, maybe Mississippi State with Mike Leach, and Ole Miss sitting over here thinking, hmm, so Jimbo thinks that we're an automatic win now. Okay, now you're going to get everybody's very best shot. You have a target on your back now, Jimbo. That was a dumb, stupid comment. I'm not saying you shouldn't have confidence that you can beat Alabama. That's not what I'm saying. But to say that you're going to beat his ass, no, you're not. No, you're not. Many have said that. Very few. In fact, I think only one person has been able to follow through as far as actually talking trash to Nick Saban and being able to deliver. That was Hugh Freeze. You don't remember what happened to Vanderbilt when they were on this little mini hot streak and they were like, we want Bama. What happened? Bama handed them their tail. You don't poke the bear. The bear is already massive and already ferocious. Now you're poking it? Now he's going to humiliate you on national television. I mean, it's going to be bad. Bad, bad, bad. That was a terrible move, Jimbo. Pride cometh before a fall, and Texas A&M is in for a big fall in 2021. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.